Okay guys, so uh, what we got here is uh, an escape ladder. You hang this over your, your window jam and you drop it to this the second floor window to the ground and you walk out in case of fire. Uh, God forbid you burn up and die. This is for the RV and uh, we're going to open it up and see if we can make this work for the RV. Uh, my escape window is 8 feet off the ground and uh, it's got a sharp edge on the metal window frame so we're gonna have to figure out how how this is gonna work all right let's open this thing up right, here we go the one two three instructions and you separate the the ladder from the the hooks at the top put the hooks on the ladder and you use them alright okay so here's my emergency escape window you can always tell by the red handles and the word exit so uh, let's see what we got here so you pull these handles and my window opens I heard that there's many, many cases where these windows stick. I'm guessing the windows are several years old and have never been opened. Yeah, they probably would stick. Uh, they say put a lubricant in there. Probably the same stuff you use on the rubber seals of your slide. So, start with, you don't want this thing keep banging you in the head while you're trying to climb out. So, uh, looks like you got a nice socket right there. My stick here has got a nice pointy edge there. So, let's see if we can get this to stay there. Uh-oh. No, I think it's too long. Maybe not. There we go. There. That makes it nice and clear. Now if you just leave. Now as long as that stick doesn't fall out, I probably don't want to close those handles again. You'll be okay. Okay, so from here down, it's eight foot. So what we want to do now is uh, go get the ladder and go see if uh, uh, if it'll work. Alright, so uh, what happened with this thing, I had to make this piece of wood. See the dents? It's one there, one here from, from this bar. Because this thing here is, is it's aluminum. It's not that strong. I bent that whole thing over. I think I can straighten it out. So anyway, I tried several things. And uh, this here turned out to be the best. Two two before is bolted together with a long the long side inboard. Okay, so I've been out the window twice now and this thing works. Um, problem is I'm afraid I'm going to kick this thing when I come out. Uh, I got one leg, I, I just can't bend it, lift it as high as the other leg. So let's try putting this on this side. Hang on now. The hicks. There we go. I was trying to put that into the stick on the frame and it kept slipping but really there's no reason why it can't go on the glass. The glass is not going to pop out. Not right away anyway. And down here it is in a frame, good and tight, but you want as far away from you as you can. Now my device here has to go between these arms, so if I put this right up against this arm, that ought to be okay. Alright, let me give it another try. Now, this is RV, has our foot to stores our footstool right here, so we're going to have to put it there at night. Uh, all right. Oh, I was going to show you. This thing came 13 foot, and I went ahead and I, I cut it off. That bottom rung actually fits right up against the bottom of our motorhome. I may end up cutting that off too. But uh, for now, let's see if I can do this without falling. Now, another trick: don't grab onto these. They, Nothing there to hold on to. There we go. 
sure does a lot of creaking, doesn't it? Uh, now while I'm standing on it, I've watched the fiberglass and, uh, oh wait, maybe it is. I want to make sure it wasn't flexing the fiberglass. Well, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, so it just helps if you don't miss the, miss the uh, thing. Of course, it flops around because it's a rope ladder. Now from here is all the farther you need to get. From here you can uh, you can drop. Trick is don't break your ankle when you fall. Now see right here. See I cut the rest of it off. This thing was 13 feet long. There was more of it laying on the ground than anywhere else. All right. Let's go see if I can do this without falling. Now this thing's got little standoffs. I put duct tape on them to, uh, oh look I bent this one, to uh, not mar the finish on the motorhome. Now these go right underneath, but I was still able to use it. I uh, guess I ought to straighten that one. So now, so that piece of wood, I'm going to have to dress it up a little bit, cut the ends equal length. and sand it down, make sure there's no uh, uh, make sure there's no uh, splinters you, you don't need any other problems on a night of a fire it's probably going to be quite a quite a job getting Mrs. RV out here to do this uh, she's, she's less athletic than I am uh, okay, it's nice and solid the wood is I mean Onto the window frame. Grab onto the window frame again. Down the door. And you're down. That's all it takes. One less burned up RVer. So that's the uh, the eleventh RV commander. Find your emergency exit. Make sure it can open, know how to use it, and practice coming out. God forbid some night you may need it to save your life. <laughs>